Hi, my name is Alan Martin from Jubilee RV Center here in Kamloops, British Columbia. Today we're going to be talking about the Voltage 3005. This is a brand new model for us. It's a, it's a 2018. Just came in a couple days ago and uh, let me walk you through this gorgeous toy hauler. So as we walk around here, one of the first things I'm going to actually point out is the huge generator that this one comes with. So this is a 5000 watt generator, 5,500 watt generator, so plenty of power for everything you're going to need when you're out camping. Uh, beautiful little setup down here. As you come around, the first compartment includes the propane bottle. Now there's one on each side. The beauty of this is easy to access, easy to take one out at a time. You don't have to worry about getting one tank past the other. Uh, gorgeous system. This is your big pass through here. Uh, quite a bit of storage in here. This one does include a, a Dirt Devil vacuum system. Uh, it also has the in command system, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, but this is where all the electronics for that is. And uh, all your lights here for the front docking station, uh, easy to access. This is also a heated area down here. Speaking of heat, this is a 35,000 BTU furnace. Plenty of heat for this big unit. As we come by over here, you're going to notice this entertainment system. You've got a TV, dedicated TV out here uh, and speakers. Uh, everything's controlled from the uh, stereo system inside and we'll talk more about the stereo system as we get there. Big unit, big need for hot water. So 10 gallon hot water heater, uh, excellent storage that way. This one's also going to have the big 8 feet cubic foot refrigerator. This happens to be the back of the fridge. Um, Speaking of uh, amenities, uh, this one also has the, uh, the seamless windows, and these seamless windows are thermopane, so this one has the full winter package. Uh, speaking of winter packages, it has a fully enclosed heated underbelly, all the tanks are heated from the furnace, plus they're heated electrically as well, they're wrapped in thermofoil, you can't get more winterized than this. Uh, R40 insulation in the floor and R40 ceiling, R11 walls. Uh, as we come around to the back here, of course, it's a toy hauler, so we're going to want to talk about this awesome uh, opening here. And I've got keys in my pocket because this is a locking system. You just come up, you throw your key in here. It pulls down. And we call this a zero-G door because, look, I can just bring it down with one finger. It'll stay down, but when you go to put this back up, it's super easy. This one happens to have a 10 cubic foot garage, so lots of room for your uh, big toys. And uh, we'll, we'll talk more about the, uh, the other amenities in the back here in a few moments. On this side of the coach, you're gonna see the ladder. And this ladder is awesome because it stays flat against the coach when you uh, don't need it. But when you do, this just pulls down and out away from the coach, making it easier to access the roof. Excellent feature. Uh, this one does have a full fuel system, obviously partly for the generator, but also for your toys. So you've got a full gas fill up here. You can fill your toys safely and uh, lots of uh, capacity. I believe it's a 30 gallon uh, uh, fuel capacity. And it has the fuel gauges here and a start, stop start for the uh, fuel pump and all that kind of stuff. Nicely covered, keep off the grime. As we come around, we're going to get over to uh, the business end of things over here. It does have a Furion uh, 10 amp solar charging system. So if you want, you can buy a separate uh, charger, put it out in the sun here and uh, charge up your batteries. We can also, if you want, add a solar charging system to the roof as a permanent system. 50 amp service. And uh, in here are all of your connections. So we'll get a good shot of that. Um, you've got cable, satellite, you've got all the different rooms that you can send satellite cable to. Uh, so lots of uh, capability there. Power supply, there's a light in here. And uh, your outside shower will hook up out here. Um, really easy to winterize. All the bypasses are here, fresh water fill, everything's right here. There's also a little pull out. You can just flip this out right here and then all your cables can come up through this so now that your door can stay shut with the cables in place. So it's a really, really good system. Um, I 
think we've more or less covered everything we're going to talk about out here. Uh, let's go meet inside and we'll uh, talk some more about this great uh, voltage toy hauler. Welcome back. We're inside now and we're taking a look at this uh, Voltage 3005 model. Inside we've got some really cool features up here. I'm just going to turn it on so you can see that it is lit up. But um, this is a full electronic uh, control system for all of your slides, all of your interior lights. Uh, helps you set everything up really, really easy to use once you understand it. And it, it doesn't take a course to learn, so it's very, very easy touchscreen. Uh, all the other controls are right here. Electric tank heaters, as I mentioned before. Uh, generator start is here. We have the fan, uh, fantastic vent fan, which is up here in the ceiling. This is uh, temperature controlled as well. Uh, and then we have also the, uh, the thermostat for your furnace and your air conditioning and all that, all in one place. As we move further down, uh, you're going to see down here the uh, the, the base uh, subwoofer, so it has a very high-end stereo, I believe at 750 watts. Uh, the Dirt Devil uh, connection here, and then down at the bottom, this is the kick up, so when you're done sweeping, you can sweep everything into the vacuum cleaner. So really cool features there. Um, and then if we look up at the top, you can see it does have a permanent TV up here. So this is the second TV now that we've seen in this trailer. I'm going to walk into the kitchen here. And as we come over into the kitchen, uh, they've done a really, really good job. These are all hot, hard, solid surface countertops with extension. Uh, it has a really nice uh, residential grade um, sprayer here uh, to you know clean everything up. It's really, really easy to use. Uh, stainless steel appliances. Uh, this is a uh, not just a microwave here either. This is a convection grill. Uh, so really nice feature and there's it's decent space uh, all the packaging is still in here but um, uh, you can see that it would be excellent and easy to use you can um, and then lots of room in the cupboards extra storage up high all the way around the eight cubic foot refrigerator from Norcold uh, so it's got lots of room they put a lot of the accessories in here there is uh, a lot of the things that we would use in the coach for later on. All the drawers are on ruler glides and full extension, so great spots for pots and pans. And getting back to the oven here for just a second, this is the 22-inch uh, oven, so that's the larger oven uh, that's available for an RV. Uh, really beautiful uh, seating area in here with the TV where I showed you it was before. You can sit down on these couches here, relax, and each one of these couches has a uh, recliner you can recline right back enjoy your beverage at the end of the day after you've been out playing with your toys so really really cool that way um, one of the other things I want to mention when you're in this trailer when the slide comes in you would think well you can't access uh, your kitchen but you can you can come in through this sliding door and there's the second door into the garage so you can come in through the garage into the kitchen access everything you need um, a really good layout now we're going to go up towards the bedroom and bathroom area. We'll start with the bathroom, uh, just up in here. It's uh, well laid out. There's enough space that uh, when you come out of the shower here, you'll be able to towel off. Um, lots of room in here, lots of head space. Uh, really good lighting with the skylight. And uh, this one does have the porcelain toilet, stainless steel sinks. The quality of the uh, materials used in this trailer is really quite phenomenal. Next we're going to go into the bedroom. So the bedroom is very very well laid out. There is a second slide. That's what these cabinets are along the side here. So you can see there's lots of room for all of your clothing. Nice drawers at the bottom. And they've done a quite a nice job. It doesn't feel like you're, you know, in a in a cave when you go to lay down in here. This is a full 60 by 80 queen bed, and uh, they've got the little shelving units on each side. So you've got somewhere to put your drink in the, at night. Maybe your glasses or your sunglasses, whatever you might have been using. Here's that second air conditioner. So now you've got uh, all the air conditioning you'll ever need. It's going to stay nice and cool. And this is they're both ducted, so you can duct it or you can use the quick cool feature to blow air right into this room. <clears throat> so let's go back now into the garage and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the cool features in this trailer. 
So the space in here is really good. This is a 10, cubic, or 10 foot long garage. This is also a wide body trailer, so it's 102 inches wide, giving you more space to get uh, potentially two machines in here. Um, lots of sleeping capacity. I'll bring down the beds here in a moment. Uh, I just wanted to point out though that you can open and close the, uh, uh, the door from right here. So this just opens up and you can just push it open. I'll bring it back to closed here for the time being. Um, there are some pedestals in here so you can put a table in if you want to. It's also prepped for a washer and dryer. So the washer dryer uh, can go right here. If you want to make this a separate entertainment area, there is a spot here for a second TV, to, or third TV actually in this case, to go in. Um, lots of overhead cabinets up here which are accessible from the ins in the garage here but also from the other side as well. There's a couple of doors there I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, and now the beds. So I'm going to show how this works. We're going to start bringing them down and we'll cut in and out here. But you're going to see they're going to come down together to start with and the uh, top bed is going to come right to the bottom. So let's just watch that happen. Maybe we'll speed up the video for you. So now that we've got the uh, bed all the way to the bottom, obviously these are both uh, 60 by 80 queens, so you got lots and lots of uh, uh, sleeping area in here. The top bed is uh, your more comfortable bed. There's uh, the extra table that we talked about for that pedestal system is just stored right there. Um, this bottom one though does turn into a couple of couches. These couches can be folded out of the way. They can be left in place to make a bed. I'm just gonna tip this back to show what the uh, couch model looks like. So you've got these two opposing couches and it is possible to have this top bed pinned up against the ceiling so that it's not in the way. But even so, even when it's down, uh, I'm 5'8", I can sit under here pretty comfortably. Uh, so you know, for the kids or something like that, this is going to be a, a really good area for them to hang out, chill out, watch TV, uh, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, and these can be folded up against the wall as well if you want to get them out of the way. I don't have them uh, prepped for that, but uh, it is easy to set that up as well. So lots of cool features in this uh, uh, 33,005 model of the Voltage, uh, beautiful trailer, fully winterized, everything that you need to get your family out playing in the great outdoors of British Columbia.